Now, again and again, uh, God told me the world people have to know. It's, some people say that in 2005, I announced that I quit. Never happened. I don't know where they heard such a thing. And then I uh, gave a will to Trang Tam to be my successor. Oh, that would be the worst nightmare if it happened. The following is the comment found on YouTube referred to by Master as a false statement. Rồi, 40 năm rồi mới nói. Trong khi 2005, Ngài thông báo đã hết nhiệm kỳ và đã đưa ra di chúc kế nghiệp là Ngài Trần Tâm hay Master Ruma, Guruji Ruma, Sagar Ruma Garmatha. I tried to look for a successor. I could not find one. And even if you reach the fourth level or fifth level, as some of my monks and nuns do, then through my own power, I send them only as a representative with extra power for them, for that day, for that job. They don't have enough power to save so many disciples that I send them out to give the instruction. The person who gives the instruction Uh, through my order, is not a master himself. He can't at one time, you know, like save uh, thousands of people or even a few hundred people. No, he would die immediately. And then he might have to go to hell for them because of their karma. He can't do that. So I just had to tell them to go there, thank God, thank all the masters, and then give the... Uh, just an oral instruction for them to know how to sit and where to concentrate. That's all. But the inner power is not from him. It's from God through the unique connection with the master. They cannot hold all this power. They are not made for it. But uh, I cannot say that these uh, fourth or fifth level uh, monks of mine are powerful enough to save so many beings any time at initiation. They know that, and they're all very humble. That's how it is. But this Chang Tam, you can see, definitely is a demon. Nobody can lie like that. He wanted to leave monkhood because of genetic sickness and came soon after with a woman and their own son. Then why? He denied connection with me, claiming himself as a master, successor, and all that. He sneaked his son into Sihu, Taiwan, to get initiation. My team was kind of worried, but only told me afterward that I gave him a successor position, or uh, not in the whole nightmare even. So now God has told me to tell you this. I hope that uh, people will not be deluded anymore and harmed by him. I don't blame you. I just blame the whole world karma and the dharma and in age, which is very turbulent and very troublesome, very disastrous, uh, dangerous and fatal even. It blinds and degrades people's better judgment. They are vulnerable to the negative, deluding, vicious force. Can only hope that blesses them, frees them from the brutal snare of demons. We, the heavens protectors, and I myself are working day and night to really try to save people, save all of you. And now that I've been ordered to tell you also that I am Maitreya Buddha, also known as the Savior, Christ, Jesus returned. I just hope that <laughs> you will still let me live. The reason I didn't tell you all these decades is because I wanted to be known just as a master, a simple master, easier to work among people, 
remembering how Lord Jesus died, how many masters, saints, their disciples have been martyred. I just wanted to have less threats in this period. Must be extra cautious. I wanted your life also to be in less danger. But still, in some restricted countries, or even less restricted ones, work karma can also make hurdles for my work and security. Some of my disciples also bear some similar situations. I had so many troubles, many dangers. By the way, even today, while I'm asking her, why do I have to do all this? I don't know if I will be safe telling this about Trang Tam or anyone else. Oh, God said sorry. God said sorry to me. Sorry, you have to go through so much. Oh, my God. I almost collapsed hearing that, you know. I could not even cry. But I humbly thank you, God, for saying such a wonderful thing. It was really a real comfort to me. A real comfort. That, that nothing else in the world could give me such, such a grace and comfort. Oh, oh, dear God, thank you so much for loving me so much, for being so kind to me and saying such a beautiful thing to me. No, I... I so, Though I feel I'm not all that worthy, I never feel like I've done enough. <laughs> But I just try my best. Thank you, God, for saying such thing, my God. I never thought I would ever hear such words from you. Oh, please understand that humans are not all that strong. I'm also not strong. <laughs> I'm just trying my best. Humans do wrong because they're also not strong and they've been influenced by all these demons. So please forgive. God, please forgive. Forgive and forgive. Please give more time. Dear God, please don't destroy this planet. I really also love this planet. I just wish I could go somewhere big and with wilderness. And I have time and space for my dog and my birth people. But they just die one after another without me. But never mind, God. You know what you're doing and you know where it's good for me. You know what you should give me. I thank you in any way for everything. Good, bad, or neutral, whatever you arrange. is all perfect. It's just uh, you, you could forgive humans and... Please do something to awaken them. Or, or just take me, just take all my merit, whatever, to forgive all the humans and all beings on this planet. Please. <laughs> Because every time I have to work for Supreme Master Television and I have to see how they suffer, the human victims on the street even. So... Raw rags or an crazy person. Even little children nowadays, they kill them just like in a game. So many things the demons make to distract people from you, distract them from goodness and from their own original nature. I believe all humans are good, dear God. They're all good. They're so good inside. They're just being <laughs> blurred, being blunted, being deluded by the, 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 the force of Maya who, who is ruling this world and ruining them. That's so all. Please, please forgive <laughs> and do something to teach them. If I don't have enough, it's all my fault that I don't have enough ability to convince them, God. Look at me in this world. I'm just in the body of a fragile little woman. I came from a country that was just recovered from war. Who am I even to convince them? 
Because the people, they expect it. All people in this world, I think they expect differently how the master should look. Each one is different. Even the Buddha, he's already in Nirvana. And many countries revere him. But they make his the status all different. In Thailand, they make him with a, with a pointed hat, some of them. And in, in China, they make him look like the Chinese. In Vietnam, they make him look like the Vietnamese. In Japan, they, they make the Buddha statue look like the Japanese. So I can't be all that, <laughs> especially since I'm still alive. I can't, you know, <laughs> sculpt myself for each of them to look like the way they want. Only if they are connected with the master power which you house within me mm-hmm. inside, then they can see differently according to their liking also. Because some people don't know me, but if they believe in me or have some affinity with me in the past life, then the master power within me will make me look like what they'd like to see. Maybe look like Kwan Yin Bodhisattva or like Sekamuni Buddha or like Amitabha Buddha or like even the angels of the Western religion or even look like Lord Jesus. But only my disciples know who is the real me They can prove it. They have the way to prove it. And we are connected differently. But to the mass of outsider people, the master power has to make this uh, being of mine look like something they like. So they'd never know. It was me who came to help them in their desperate situation. And most of them don't see me anyway, even if I help everyone. They can't see. Some, some can see surprised. You know, like uh, some of my disciples, family members, some are not initiated and don't believe in me or anything. But they saw uh, Soko Me, the manifestation of light while it came to their house in their time of need. And they told my so-called disciples. So my so-called disciples didn't see the manifestation of uh, the Soko Me, the master come to their house to help them in their time of need. But the non-disciples who happened to be in that house saw it. And sometimes the children see it, but uh, the adults cannot see nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. And whatever you arrange, God, this is all your arrangement. What I mean is how will I convince people who are so deluded already by the Mara power and who have been deeply engaged in their own convictions, in their own beliefs, that uh, such and such religion is good, and uh, such and such uh, priests or monks are for them to trust. Thus, even in many cases, hurt themselves or get hurt by those that they trust because they fake to represent you. They just been born with such an idea, so they could not change so fast or easily. I do not blame them, my Lord. I just feel sorry that I don't have enough ways and means to, to help them. I mean, I can help them a little in silence, but not that they could help themselves, you know, to be enlightened and to know you. God Almighty, and to see all the beautiful worlds that you have made for them. And they will be so happy, happy, happy in this lifetime already. Uh, I'm just trying very hard with everything I can with Supreme Master Television also, so that maybe it will awaken somebody, some of your children in some corner somewhere, or help them a little bit in their time of desperate need, especially in this ending time. <laughs> 